But just in case you do something like this and mess up every wire and you do not know which wire goes where, I'll teach you in this video how to identify the wires and connect the right wire to the right switch. Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pongul Handyman channel. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. It's the red words down below. Give me a like and of course leave a comment with more video requests and ideas of uh, content that I can do or things that you want to learn. Um, in today's episode, what we are looking at is uh, a light switch that has uh, been sparking. So when you turn it on and off, the lights inside flicker and it starts to give off a burning smell. You don't want to leave it like that, all right? Um, it means that it's arcing, the contacts are loose, and it may even result in, uh, in it burning and melting. So it's not safe. Um, so before we get into that, as I mentioned, do leave a like. Uh, and uh, I read every one of your comments. I try to um, reply as much as I can. But, uh, you know, things are getting a bit busy. And uh, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. All right, so before we start, any work all right please be reminded to turn off your circuit breakers if you're not sure go to your circuit breaker box and turn off the main breakers which are these two and also for good measure you can turn off the rccb which is the blue one right here but in this instance i do know that uh, switch number two is a circuit breaker which controls the circuit that we are working on so i'm just going to shut that one off for now and then we'll go and uh, and start our work all right, in my previous videos, I've been showing you guys how to, uh, the shortcut of um, changing out a two-gang one-way switch. Uh, what is a two-gang one-way switch? Two-gang, all right, a switch basically refers to this whole panel, okay? This is a switch. One of these buttons, these are called gangs. So you got a two-gang switch, all right, and what is meant by a one-way or a two-way switch is a one-way switch means one switch connects to one light. If it's a two-way switch, we have two switches, maybe one in the, uh, in the uh, living room and one in the bedroom, which connects to one light. So those are called two-way switches. You have two switches which connect to one light. So this is a two-gang, uh, two one-way. So it's two uh, switch buttons and it only connects to one light each and there's no other switches which are attached to this circuit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the faulty switch and uh, I'm going to show you how to repair it if let's say you uh, mess it up. So first, uh, grab yourself a blade and you want to cut the silicone caulking that's around the switch. Okay, I don't uh, really subscribe to this technique of uh, finishing switches but um, if that's what the previous contractor has done, then um, that's the way it's done. If you don't, if you skip this step, what you risk uh, happening is that when you remove the switch plate, it's going to crack the paint around the switch plate. So you want to avoid all that oops, uh, problems. Okay, so you have that. You get your test pen, and there should be a slot at the bottom for you to pry open the switch. So gently pry open the switch, paying attention to the paint around. If the paint starts lifting off, you can try to, uh, you know, go around it a bit more with the blade. So, there we go. That comes out. Put your test pen behind the switches. And finally, come in with your cordless or electric screwdriver and start taking out the screws. Okay, so once you've got the, uh, the screws out, you can pull out all the wires and with your test pen, test all the connections. So you can test this, okay, and this, this, and this, just to make sure that there's no live current uh, flowing through your circuit. And then what you want to do is open up everything. Okay? Now, in my previous video, I demonstrated, I, I demonstrated how to copy and paste the wire. So we take the new switch and A goes to A, B goes to B. But just in case you do something like this, 
and mess up every wire and you do not know which wire goes where, I'll teach you in this video how to identify the wires and connect the right wire to the right switch. So, we have four wires right here. And at this point, I do not know which wire connects to which light. Right now, uh, the wires are bare, so you might need to make sure that no one touches these wires while you're doing it. So you can get someone to go to the circuit breaker box to turn it on, or you can do it yourself if you're alone at home. But just try your best not to let anyone touch the wires. You turn on your circuit breaker, and now all these, one of the four wires are live, and you do not know which one it is. So I'm going to take my test pen, I'm going to test. It's not this one, uh, it's this one. So this is the live wire, this is not live, and this is not live. So we know that this wire is live. Turn off your circuit breakers. Now we know that this is your live wire. So I'm going to grab a piece of tape, okay, and just going to tear off just a tiny piece to mark that this is the live. Okay, I don't want to forget it. Then. I'm going, just going to randomly choose one. So I'm going to connect these two wires and I'm just going to tape it together temporarily. Okay. And then I'm going to turn off the circuit breaker and you want to see which light in uh, the room it, uh, sorry, it connects to. Ah, so toilet is working. So by connecting these two, we know that this is the daisy chain. What I mean by daisy chain is that it supplies power to the rest of the to the rest of the house. Try this one. Okay, power on. Okay. So we know that. This light connects to the main kitchen light uh, up there. And by process of elimination, this last one should be the service yard light. So we know, uh, just to recap, we know that this is the uh, kitchen light, this is the service yard, this is the rest of the house, and this is your life. Okay, so we bring in our new switch right here. This is the, a simil uh, the, the same model, it's the MK, uh, two gang, one way. And you know it's a one-way switch because there are only two terminals behind each gang. If it's a three-way switch, you would have three terminals. So as I've always uh, mentioned, you can see that there is uh, some screws at the back. It's blocking the holes. So you want to uh, unscrew these as much as possible and open up your terminal. Okay, so I put the switch side by side. You have uh, these two gangs, you have your, if you look closely, over here says COM. So these are your COM and these are your load. So COM is where your life were to go in. So what you want is to have your lifeline to come in here, supply power to here, and if you have uh, an, a daisy chain or another switch that's connected, this would go to the rest of the house. This will then connect to whichever light you're planning to connect it to, and this one will be to the second light. Right here, I've cut off a small piece of wire, and I'm going to insert it into the comm line. And then, I'm going to be putting my first life here. Let's tighten that up. So you have your life to the first and daisy chain to the second and this goes to the rest of the house. So I'm going to put this here. So that's your lifelines settled. Now we give our wires a pull to make sure they are snug. This is out of the way. Okay, so now you have your lifelines connected. You want to decide where your, you want your lights to be connected to. So, the service yard is uh, all the way there, and the kitchen is closer. So I want my kitchen light to be connected to the first switch here, 
and then my service yard to be connected to the, uh, to the second switch. So this one goes here, it's the kitchen light. And then, service yard. That's done. Make sure all your lines are tight. Take off the uh, switch buttons here. And then reconnect the wires inside. Just stuff them all in. You can see top is top. Put back your switch buttons. And finally, the switch plate. Alright, so the switch has been fixed. I'm going to turn on the circuit breaker. And we'll see that if the lights work. There we go, the lights work. Right? And uh, just to finish up, later I'll be coming around with a bit of a gap filler just to neaten up the edges, but that will be for another video. Um, if you like that tip, do leave a comment, like, share and subscribe and of course I'll see you on the next one. Take care.